that I'll ever need is in your eyes shining at me. When you smile, I can feel all my passion unfolding. Your hand brushes mine, and a thousand sensations seduce me because I, I do. Cherish you for the rest of my life. You don't have to think twice. I will love you still from the depths of my soul. It's beyond my control. So Say this to you. Asking, do I love you this much? I do. Who I wanted to be 
And now that we're together, I'm stronger than ever, I'm happy and free. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, oh, think I can keep it all in. And if you ask me why I've changed, all I gotta do is say your sweet name. It's your love, it just does something to me, it sends a shock right through me. I can't get enough And if you wonder About the spell I'm under Oh, it's your love Just gotta let you know what it is that won't let me go. It's your love, it just does something to me. It sends a shock right through me. I can't get enough. Hey, congratulations, Trav and Jess, uh, on your marriage. Uh, we've had a lot of adventures, Travis, but none will compare to the adventure you're about to start in life. Congratulations, Travis and Jess. Wish you the best during this marriage and your happy life that you're going to have together. Happy wedding, Travis and Aunt Jessica. Have a good life together. Travis. I'm really glad that I got to know you and I ran into you in that math class when you were a, a math major for a couple semesters. And uh, I wish you guys the best. Travis, the last couple of years uh, hanging out with you and Jess have been great. Uh, I'm confident you guys are going to be great for each other. Um, no TST, but all right, go for it, buddy. See ya. Travis, we've known each other for 20 years now, and it's been an excellent time all the way through. I know Jess and you are perfect for each other, so can't wait for this to happen. Look forward to having you guys with me for the rest of our lives. Trav and Jess, um, I've known Travis, I've known you since kindergarten. Jess, I've known you since our freshman year at college. Um, I'm so proud of how far you guys have come, and you guys are so um, genuinely in love, and uh, it's such an inspiration to be able to be friends with you. So uh, congratulations, and I hope you have a good life together. Congratulations, Jessica and Travis. I'm so happy to be here and share this day with you, and I love you guys both. Congratulations, Jess and Trav. I love you both. I've seen you guys, you know, grow really close together, and I can only hope that, you know, it lasts forever and ever, and I know that it will. I love you both. Congratulations again. Congratulations, Jessica and Travis. I'm very happy for you guys. Thanks for letting Musketeer number two and four be part of your day. I love you guys. Jessica and Travis, you guys are amazing friends and I'm so glad that you have this wonderful day for you. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to share it with you and I'm so glad that your families have come together and that now really we're all one big happy family. We're now Kumbo and Joe, Jessica and Travis Thompson's friends. Love you so much. Congratulations Jess, Travis. We love you guys. Hope many many years. Welcome to the family Travis. We're so pleased that you love our daughter so much. We're so thankful and blessed to have you in the family. Have a happy wedding day and a wonderful honeymoon and a beautiful life together. Hi, Travis and Jessica. Uh, this special day has finally arrived. Uh, hopefully I can get through this without shedding a few more tears. Um, we are so proud to have you into our family, Jessica. Travis, we're so proud of you too. Um, this day is uh, incredibly awesome, and we're at the point now, just smile, breathe, have fun. May God bless you through your journey, and we're always here for you. Love you. Trav and Jess, I want to say that I don't know a better couple than you two, and I wish you all, all the best, and you never know what comes down the line. <laughs> so hey, enjoy your time. This is going to be really the happiest time of your life. And I wish you nothing but the best. See ya. 
Hi, Travis and Jessica. Congratulations, and thank you so much for having us be an important part of your wedding. We hope you had fun in your honeymoon. Hey, guys. Congrats. We uh, really appreciate the honor of being the uh, Master and Mistress of Ceremonies. Um, I know I don't know you that well, although I feel like I do through Kim. Um, I uh, thank the world of you guys, and I wish you the best of luck in your marriage, and have a wonderful time on your honeymoon. Hi, Travis and Jessica. Just want to say congratulations, and I hope that your marriage lasts as long as mine did. I'll see you sometime later on today. Hi, Trav. How you doing? Hope you have a long, wonderful marriage. I'm sure you will. Jessica's a wonderful girl. Hi, Travis, Jennifer. Congratulations on your marriage, and may you have a long and happy marriage. Congratulations, Tra Jessica and Travis. Congratulations. We can't wait to see you guys every summer at the beach. Hey, Jessica. It's Travis. <laughs> um, I'm super pumped for this day, and it's finally here, and... I hope you're as nervous as I am, which is not that much, and I can't wait to marry you, and I can't wait for tonight when it'll all be done and all the worries will be over and we can party, and I can't wait to see you coming down the aisle. That's it. Travis, I'm excited. You finally asked me to marry you, and I can't believe this day is finally here, and I can't wait to spend forever with you, and I can't wait to see you at the altar. I hope you cry like a baby. Love you.
of affection for Travis and Jessica, we have gathered together to witness and bless their mutual vows, which will unite them in marriage. To this moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure to share with one another. They bring that particular personality and spirit which is uniquely their own, and out of which is growing the reality of their life together. So we rejoice with them in this outward symbol of an inward union of hearts, a union created by friendship, respect, and love. Let all know that marriage is a sacred and joyous covenant, a way of life ordained of God from the beginning of creation. God has ordained the covenant of marriage so that husband and wife may give to each other companionship, help, and comfort, both in prosperity and in adversity. That God may hallow the expression of natural affections, that children may be born and nurtured in families and trained in godliness, and that human society may stand on firm foundations. Into the sacred covenant these two persons now desire to enter. Let us therefore ask the blessing of God on the union about to be formed. Let us pray. Most merciful and gracious God, we praise you for all the goodness of the earth and all the gifts of your grace. We especially thank you for the institution of marriage, which you have ordained to guard, to hallow, and to perfect the gifts of love. We thank you for the joy which Travis and Jessica find in each other, and for the love and trust in which they enter this holy covenant. Enrich them with your grace, so as they enter into this marriage in your sight, they may joyfully and faithfully keep their vows. Amen. And so I ask who presents this woman for marriage? Her mother. I do. Jessica, do you declare your intention to take Travis as your lawful wedded husband to live in a holy state of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and cherish him from this day forward, forsaking all others, and keeping only unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. I would ask the bride's family to please rise. I ask you, do you receive Travis into the fellowship of your family? If you can so affirm him, say we do. We do. Now the groom's family, please rise. I ask you, do you receive Jessica into the fellowship of your family? If you can so affirm her, say we do. We do. Maybe see it. Thank you. And now we have a reading by Bill and Jane. Thanks to God and the Father forever. 
and Paul's timeless words. If you listen closely, there's a lot of meaning in here from 1 Corinthians. If I speak in tongues, in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a plain symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angry. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know a part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Hi, Travis. Take you, Jessica. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Jessica, take you, Travis. I, Jessica, take you, Travis. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part.
Let us pray together. Gracious God, bless Travis and Jessica as they have set apart these rings to be a visible sign of the inward spiritual bond which unites their hearts. May the wearing of these rings testify to the covenant made between them here this day. Amen. Amen. These words, this ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love of my love and faithfulness. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. With this ring. With this ring. I do wed. <laughs> The two outside candles in our unity candle arrangement have been lighted to represent both your lives in this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their separate ways. As you now join in marriage, there is a merging of these two lights into one. This is what the Lord meant when he said, on this account a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than for your individual selves. Your plans shall be mutual. Your joys and sorrows shall be shared alike. As you each take a candle and together light the separate one, you will extinguish your own candles, thus letting the separate candle represent the union of your two lives into one flesh. And this one light cannot be divided. Neither shall your lives be divided, but a united testimony in a Christian home. May the radiance of this one light be a testimony to your unity in the Lord Jesus Christ.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed a solemn event as these two persons have made promises of faithfulness to each other. Their future is unknown and they will need your love and support. So I ask you, will you care for them in the bonds of friendship and offer them your patience and understanding? Will you be with them in their joy and sorrow, but also leave them alone when that is their need? Will you be sensitive to the dynamics of their lives and encourage them in their love for each other and in their faithfulness to each other? If you can so affirm them and make this pledge, answer we do. Let us pray together. Merciful and compassionate God, now that this man and woman are united in the covenant of marriage, grant them grace to live according to sacred values and noble ideals. Strengthen them in constant faithfulness and true affection toward each other. And may they have wisdom in their journey together. May they forever enjoy spiritual communion with all that is divine. And may the love of Christ be forever in their lives. Amen. And now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God remain with you always. Amen. And now the final and most important part. For as much as you, Travis and Jessica, have consented together in this sacred covenant and declared the same before God and these witnesses. I pronounce you, husband and wife, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those that God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Make you your body. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present Mr. and Mrs. Travis and Jessica Thompson. <laughs> 